Pippa Middleton was flung into the spotlight for wearing a now-famous bridesmaid dress at her sister Kate Middleton's wedding to Prince William in 2011. But the socialite never planned on being famous and has continued to live a relatively quiet life. Here's a look inside Pippa Middleton's life today. Her older sister may have married a real-life prince, but Pippa Middleton got a fairy tale wedding of her own six years later, when she tied the knot with former race car driver James Matthews in May 2017. Kate Middleton's younger sis has since mainly stayed out of the limelight, but about a year and a half after getting hitched, Pippa welcomed her first child, a son called Arthur. Pippa's rep revealed that the couple's baby boy had arrived on October 15, 2018, and told USA Today, Everyone is delighted, and mother and baby are doing well. The publication also noted that Pippa gave birth in the Lindo Wing at St. Mary's Hospital in London, the very same place that Sister Kate welcomed all three of her own children with Prince William, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Telegraph also confirmed the news, with a Kensington Palace statement revealing to the publication, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are thrilled for Pippa and James. Born to a socialite mum and multi-millionaire dad, little Arthur will undoubtedly grow up in a privileged environment. But without a royal title of his own, his upbringing will be very different from his royal cousins. True to form, Pippa Middleton kept her pregnancy with son Arthur relatively low-key. That all changed, however, when Middleton decided to share some behind-the-scenes details in her Waitrose magazine column. Discussing her exercise routine, she explained, Swimming throughout pregnancy offers a wonderful feeling of weightlessness. As the months pass, you feel heavier by the day, but being in water gives that floating, light-as-air feeling that soothes and relieves the body, counteracts increased back strain and stretches the legs from the growing bump. Middleton continued with her exercise routine right up until the ninth month of pregnancy, but revealed, As the final month nears and the bump grows prouder each day, movement is certainly getting more awkward. To counteract the difficulties she began experiencing while moving closer to her due date, Middleton took up meditation and tried to walk and stretch whenever possible to better prepare her body for the baby's arrival. While Pippa Middleton found swimming to be the perfect form of exercise to do during pregnancy, she has already passed on the skill to her young son, Arthur. In an April 2019 column for Waitrose Kitchen magazine, the proud mum finally broke her silence on motherhood, writing, Starting my son Arthur's swimming at four months old has given him confidence and enjoyment in water. He's now six months old, and swimming is one of our favorite activities. Middleton made it clear that she was keen to encourage other parents to work out and stay active too. Although the socialite's updates about her son have been rare, it's adorable and super sweet to hear that this mother-baby duo have found such a unique way to bond together. It's wonderful. Yeah, that's yeah, the biggest smile I've seen this morning. <laughs> Along with introducing her son, Arthur, to swimming lessons at an early age, Pippa Middleton also decided to start taking him to another nearby spot for more healthy activities. In October 2019, the proud mom wrote in her Waitrose Weekend column, Now that Arthur is 11 months old and more mobile, I have been trying to come up with different activities to do with him. I needed to find something more than just park walks in the pram. Our local baby gym has been a saving grace. It's a big space full of fun, soft objects, play mats, stairs, balls, swings, mini trampolines, and more. According to the Daily Mail, Middleton resides with her husband, James Matthews, and their son in a West London property that cost approximately £17 million to purchase back in 2014. As if the cost of their house wasn't expensive enough, the publication reported that the couple spent an additional £1.2 million renovating and extending the property. It would seem that Middleton has not only made a perfect home for her growing family, but has also found some wonderful support close by to entertain her young son. In one of the stranger updates regarding Pippa Middleton, it was reported in March 2020 that the author of Celebrate had taken to ordering cabs under a fake name. In the United Kingdom, it's common to phone and book a taxicab journey in advance, rather than flag one down in the street. According to the Daily Mail, a source revealed that they'd gotten suspicious when a woman ordered a taxi under the surname Middleton, claiming, She ordered a taxi for Lucy Middleton and kept ringing, asking if I was there yet because she was hiding in a dark doorway. And that's not all. The taxi driver turned sleuth decided to find out whether he had, in fact, transported Pippa Middleton. I later googled the name and saw Pippa and Kate's cousin Lucy Middleton in a picture with Pippa and realized it was actually Pippa in my cab. 
It's pretty amusing to imagine Pippa Middleton using a fake name when she travels. Although, considering the fact that she's famous all over the world, this English socialite probably just wanted a little privacy. And who could blame her? Before Pippa Middleton settled down with James Matthews, she dated another well-connected man who has since married into the royal family. As reported by the Daily Mail, before Thomas Kingston married Gabriella Windsor, who is currently 52nd in line to the British throne, he reportedly dated Pippa. In 2013, the former couple was spotted on multiple dates. However, according to the Daily Mail, Thomas Kingston denied they were romantically linked. It definitely seems like a strange claim to make, considering the fact that there appears to be photographic evidence of the pair together. Meanwhile, one so-called friend of Kingston's told the Daily Mail, Tom's great achievement is that none of his old girlfriends have anything but nice things to say about him. Even when it's all over, they still like him. It would seem that this review of Kingston's love life is very true, as Pippa attended her ex's wedding to his new royal partner in May 2019. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!